Hello, this is Trina Menzi from mrsmenzi.blogspot.com. Today I'm talking about how to create hotspots for interactivities for your smart notebook. Uh, there are five basic steps to hotspots. You start by pasting a picture and then you lock it in place. You layer the hotspot activity over the picture. Then you edit the hotspot activity and add points to it. So let's see how this works. I'm starting with a picture here. I'm going to make it larger by clicking the tag at the bottom. Click and drag. And that looks like a pretty good size to me. I like that. So I'm going to lock it in place with the drop down menu on the side. Click and move down. Lock in place. So you see you can also use Control K, the, court, the keyboard shortcut. So now that this is locked in place, I can now go over to my gallery and I'm going to search my tools for hotspot. And you will find it under interactive and multimedia. And I like the teal, it's my favorite color, so I'm going to click drag and drop right over the picture that I've already placed. And you'll see it's all right there. I'm going to now move to the edit button. And this world map is great, but that really doesn't go with what I want to do today. So I'm going to change it to custom, and it will automatically go turn clear so that I can see the picture that I've already um, laid in place and locked down. Now I'm going to click add, and I can begin to add hotspots to the picture. So I'm going to put Q. And I find that it's very helpful if you move the mouse off of the screen and then back on W. And you'll see my mouse has disappeared, so until I get off of that flash frame right here, I don't see it again. So I have to, I tend to jerk to the left, come off the frame, and now I can click again. E, move off, R. You can, of course, put hints or short phrases. Now if you find you want to move a label that you've created, you can click move here and that will allow you to click and drag and I usually do it by clicking the uh, tag or label instead of the target and move it to be about centrally located over the spot that you want them to click close to. Now there, you'll notice also there's a timer feature which you can turn off or on depending on the level of students you're working with. Uh, you might try it without a timer the first couple of times. Uh, just to see uh, what works for your students. Score by distance means the closer that they click in on the, your smart board to where you've placed the tag, the higher their score. You can also score by region or have no score at all, but with the competitive nature of our children, I, I think um, scoring is, is a fun way to, to make it a little competitive. Oh, and see, I just noticed I would like to add a space so you can go back and add points even after you've placed points. Once you're done adding points, you're going to hit OK. And you'll notice that it's all ready to go. I can then hit Start, and it'll ask me where is the P, where's the E, where's the space bar. Oh, and see, I have two spaces, so this will be interesting. Oh, y. Now this is easier on the smart board, and you'll see it has a countdown. So that's how that works. It's pretty simple to use. Once one student is finished, you can hit reset. It'll display a student score. You can hit reset and you can have a little competition in class. Uh, something to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I also have an interface that we can add to the beginning of a presentation of a series of pictures where it picks random so they don't have the same series of pictures over and over or that it'll pick uh, based on them throwing a ball 
or a cush ball at the screen and it'll take them to whatever area the region in the screen that they hit. It links to a page within the presentation. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I hope this was very helpful. Again, this is Trina Menzi from mrsmenzi.blogspot.com. Email with questions and I'd be happy to help you out. Have a great day.